Imagine a condom that self-lubricates, delivers its own dose of Viagra, biodegrades in the long term, and could even conduct electricity responding to stimulation from the body. Well, that is exactly what scientists are aiming to do with a little help from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The team received one of 52 grants on offer from the foundation, which called on scientists to help get around the fact that people don't like to use condoms. Sounds pretty good, Jose, what do you think? I think that it's great news, not only for the pleasure part of it, but also because we are facing the fact that today there's over 35 million people living with AIDS, STDs are a concern worldwide, yeah. especially with younger generations. Some of the diseases that were kind of controlled, we're seeing an uptick on, on, on prevalence. So anything that gets people to use condoms, it's great news. It is. Not to mention, you mentioned HIV, that's a big one, all STDs, as well as obviously unplanned pregnancies, all things that need to be addressed because of the simple fact that, you know, there's this negative stigma with condoms that it just doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Allows people, you know, to kind of say, ah, forget it. Um, the new condoms are made from hydrogel materials and they are actually said to feel better than not wearing a condom at all. Better than the real thing. Better than the real thing. Can you believe that? Despite, you know, condoms being cheap, easy to manufacture, easy to distribute, they're available worldwide. Anyone can get them, they're cheap, they're easy, but people just don't wear them because they don't feel good. And now we think this could have a huge impact because you might see people more eager to wear condoms as opposed to not wearing condoms. Which is necessary because if we see the numbers, back in 2010, in a major survey of sexual behaviors, it was revealed that more than half of men that had sex for an, with a new acquaintance didn't use a condom. Women... Is that globally or here in the U.S.? Here in the U.S. In the US. Women were up to 65% of of women that did not use a condom with a new acquaintance on a sexual relations. It's a change in behavior, yes, we're more open to sex, we're more open to casual sex. At the same time, we're more uh, vulnerable That's to diseases. Acceptable. And like you said, unplanned pregnancies, which is a big, big budget that is spent every year because of unplanned pregnancies. Right, well the material, it's, very, it's, it's more skin-like, right, than mm -hmm. latex. And it's actually expected to completely uh, overtake latex. Latex will be a thing in the past pretty, pretty soon once they develop this. Um, it, it mimics real skin and it feels more like real skin and it looks more like real skin. So you don't look down, it doesn't look like you're wearing one, it feels like it, it's the real thing. It's basically not there is what they want. And plus it has additives built in Viagra, whatever, all these things that, that are only a plus. Uh, let us know if you guys think that this could actually make any difference and if this actually is the condom of the future, please comment and of course subscribe to the Lip TV 2 for more.